Joaquin Phoenix is being offered the biggest payday of his career. And it's all because of the success of Joker. How big was Joker? Joker only cost like between 40 and 70 million dollars to make. And guess how much it grossed worldwide? Over 1 billion dollars. So they're offering him money to be exact, 50 million dollars for a Joker 2 and 3, which will make this a trilogy. So the debate is still in the air. Who is the best Joker? Was it Jack Nicholson, Heath Ledger, or Joaquin Phoenix? <laughs> the link for this article will be right below in the description. So, yep, Joker 2, Mr. Phoenix to be offered biggest payday of his career. Guess how many billions? So, Joker 2 and 3, we'll see Joaquin Phoenix offered millions, according to the insider. Now, let's talk about it. Last year... Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie was an unprecedented hit with an estimated budget of between 55 and 70 million. The Batman villain solo film made over 1 billion at the box office. Currently, Joker is the first and only rated R15 certificate movie to make such a milestone. Now, this broke a lot of records and it is currently the only comic book move comic book related movie to gross a billion dollars in to be rated R. Uh, I think Deadpool came close, but it didn't hit that one billion. Now, it also was nominated for 11 Academy Awards. Phoenix finally won the Best Actor Oscar for his incredible performance. And while the origin story could easily have been just one movie, allegedly, the profitable, the profitability of Joker is seeing Warner Brothers playing a Joker 2 and 3. Yeah. So, according to the insider, Phoenix could land an incredible 50 million for both Joker sequels. <laughs> so, initially, Phoenix felt Joker was just a standalone movie. But we could see people can't get enough of this. And the source continued. He's changed his tune now. He says he wants to play the character again, despite the controversies that came with the release last year. Still being negotiated, but the scripts are being written, and Joaquin is very engaged with it. The insider said Warner Brothers was as shocked as anyone by the one billion dollar success of the movie. Now, you can credit a lot of the Joker's success to Mr. Phoenix itself because it takes a once in a lifetime talent to play the Joker. Now, uh, they plan to make two sequels in the next four years with a long-term commitment to Joaquin and his Joker director Todd Phillips and guess who produced it? Yep, Bradley Cooper. It's all about getting Joaquin to accept the terms and the biggest payday of his career by far. So we all are wondering just where could a Joker 2 take Phoenix Phoenix's author Fleck? Now Joker ended with the proto Joker spoiler alert shooting Robert De Niro's TV host Mary Franklin live on air. So like I said, it takes a certain type of talent to play the Joker. You go back to Jack Nicholson, absolutely killed it. I thought it was the greatest Joker on the big screen of all time. And then the late, great Heath Ledger just took it up to a level that I said, wow, nobody will ever outdo this because I didn't look at the Dark Knight and I didn't see Heath Ledger at all. I saw the Joker come out of the comic books in this movie come around. Wow, the origin. You get to know all about Arthur, why he is the Joker. Uh, you know, this is bits and pieces of the comic put together with a story they just made up. Now, where can they go with this? We all know we want to see more of the Batman included in the Joker, how him and the Batman uh, clashes. And we saw something in the this movie that really got everybody thinking is the Batman and Joker brothers was <laughs> Bruce Wayne's father, the Joker's father. It's so much that they could, so many ways they could go with a Joker two and three. But the main thing about this is they need to have some type of connection with the rest of the DC universe. Cause the Joker, we all know has a very, very, <laughs> very 
I'll say, interesting and popular storyline with Harley Quinn, which is played by Mag, uh, Maggot Robbie, I think that's her name. Margaret Robbie, and she is very popular right now. So they could bring that Harley Quinn character into the Joker world, and it would just be great. Maybe they're thinking this. What do you guys think about Joaquin Phoenix playing Joker two more times? Like this video, leave your comments, and subscribe.